What's up, people? I am back. And man, I just found this shirt. I should have found this shirt literally when I did the Jaws videos. But today, I am going to be talking about Pantera, doing another bands I love. And then later, I will be reviewing probably my favorite, not probably, my favorite 4th of July movie, Independence Day. So I'll be reviewing that later. So. Right now, we're going to talk about Pantera. And there were another metal band that I, I would say I found them. I mean, I probably had heard them, but I think if I can go back and calculate what the year was, it had to have been 2000, I would say 11. It was a little bit after I started really getting into Metallica. Um, and like Megadeth, and I started getting in and I found Pantera. And just the for off the first song was "Walk," which was RVD's theme song, ADCW. Such a good song. It's such a like good just rage out song. And then just finding more stuff like "Cowboys from Hell," "Domination," "Cemetery Gates." R really good, you know. And I'll admit, there um, I had friends who were if didn't want me to listen to them, they they were kind of shocked when I would listen to them because. You know, and, and this is obviously just bullshit media garbage, but they were trying to spin, there are people out there who spin that they're a racist band. And everything I looked, it's because, I guess because Phil Anselmo, they're, they're a southern band, so there's that. But also, I guess Phil Anselmo, I guess he kind of looks like a skinhead. It's stupid. It's really stupid. It's like, the dude's not racist. Uh, it's... They're a great fucking band, just because they're from the South. and But there are people who do get shocked that I listen to them, because you know how hard they are. But it's, they're so good. I just love the sound. I love how hard... Like, I think Phil Anselmo, he could do that, like, really good rock metal voice, but he could still, like, sing. Like, I actually think there's some good points. In, even Cowboys from Hell, he actually has a really good voice in that song. And it's crazy, because if you listen to some of the earlier stuff, they almost sound like, they, like, almost look hair metal-y, but then just in, like, the 90s, they just went that metal look. Unfortunately, uh, Dimebag Daryl in, uh, 2004 died. Well, he was killed. Uh, I'll explain the story here in a second. So, he, they were playing a concert, and some crazy fuck just, guess, went on stage, shot at some people. He, like, he shot, he shot like, a few people, and ended up shooting Dimebag Daryl, and unfortunately, this was December, I think, 8th, 2004, so this was, be obviously, before I got into the band. There, that's a sad story, it's just, it, just, like... That's, like, what makes life just crazy. Shit like that. Like, you're just playing on stage, and now and then some crazy fucking rando just comes on stage and just shoots you. It's really sad. And obviously, they haven't been together since. I think sometimes they play reunion shows. Uh, Phil Anselmo, I think he still makes music now. Kind of has his own little band going, but they were really good. I always thought the logo was good. I think they're just as good as Metallica. Um, it's just well because you also had Megadeth, you know, Anthrax, so it's just, they kind of, all those bands to me overlapped, but Pantera was great. I think, um, the guitar was good. Just all around the music was good, and I just love the sound, especially, like, when I'm just, like, I want to headbang, Walk just does it for me, just, it's such a just, it's also just simple, just, like, re, and then, like, yeah, and even the video, like, the video itself was not crazy. It's just, like, almost him at a concert just playing it. No, no, cra nothing crazy. So, yeah, Pantera was great. Um, I remember seeing one of their performances on YouTube, uh, Domination, it was really fucking good. I think they're another, one of those bands that I would say are really good live. And I'm not one who usually likes live music unless I'm at the concert, but I will say they were, they do have a really good sound live you know I just think they're an awesome band so 
I, the bands I love videos are never going to be super long unless it's like a band I'm really into. But for the most part, so yeah, the, I just wanted to talk about why I love Pantera, basically. I think they're awesome. Um, it's, it's really unfortunate what happened to Dimebag Daryl. Uh, rest in peace. But <laughs> I just wanted to <coughs> get <coughs> appreciation. <coughs> I will be doing another Bands I Love tomorrow, <coughs> along with another video. <coughs> We're going to be talking about uh, Tomorrow Will Be Warrant. One of my favorite, I would say, hair metal bands, and <coughs> for they're one of my favorite hair metal bands, so that's going to be fun talking about them tomorrow. <coughs> but yeah, Pantera, awesome band. I would recommend. I, I mean, if you don't like that super hard metal sound, you may not like Pantera, but, <coughs> but I would recommend if you like that sound. Just, you know, if you want to just th headbang for a little bit. So that's my video on Pantera. Later, I sh I'm going to be reviewing... Uh, Independence Day, and my god, that's gonna be fun, just because I love that fucking movie, that, to me, is, it is a perfect movie, like, I honestly don't have any, you know, criticisms, like, yeah, is it 90s cheese, but that's not, I don't inherently look at that as criticism, it's just, you gotta remember, some movies are of the time, you know, so there are people who think, like, Halloween is 70s cheese, and it, I don't see it, but, you know, so that'll be later, um, but other than that, I'm going to take one more hit and uh, peace out. Terrorist badass. Fuck Warner Brothers. <coughs> Fuck Disney. <coughs> Fuck Disney. Fuck James Van Man or as I call him. <coughs> James Mangina. Um uh, fuck one ring.net. But other than that, Pantera rules. Peace.